All right, guys, we've got another coaster review for today. This is Accelerator, the Intamin launch coaster in Knott's Bray Farm. It is the tallest roller coaster in the park, exceeding 200 feet, speeds of excess of 80 miles per hour. It isn't the longest ride in the world, but for a lot of people, this is the best ride at Knott's. Getting into my general ideas, I do really like the roller coaster. For me, it is my favorite roller coaster at Knott's Bray Farm. I know there's a good handful of people saying that the new Ghost Rider is the best ride at the park, but I still prefer this one. I love how intense it is. That launch is fantastic. It is very smooth. I know there's been some complaints saying that it kind of rattles your way through the rest of the track. I didn't really find that to be the case when I went over the summer. Maybe it's been doing that recently. But then again, maybe the people saying that ride this way more often than I do. I'm basing this review off of only a few rides when I got to visit for the first time this summer, and I thought it was running very well. One thing I wasn't a huge fan of was how they were only running one train. The second train was literally in pieces next to the ride. Wasn't a huge fan of that. I also thought that the queue was set up very weird. They do seating not by rows, but by cars. So like the four people to a car will get in one row, and then four people to another car will get in another. I thought that that was really kind of bizarre. I've never seen that on any other roller coaster. I wasn't a fan of it. I thought that it was very confusing. As someone who had never ridden it before, I was like, what the heck is going on here? But if we want to talk ride experience, that launch out of the station is awesome. That top hat really gives some fantastic airtime no matter what row you're in. I did get to ride this in the front and the back. I don't really remember which one I liked better. I want to say the front just because that launch is just absolutely fantastic in the front. It's also going to be a little smoother in the front. But I can see why people would prefer the back. So after that top hat, you're going to go down a vertical drop. I'm a big fan of this drop. I prefer it over drops like King Nikaz and Top of the Dragsters because I like that it doesn't have that twisting motion going all the way down the drop. This just has like a slight twist out. It's kind of snappy, but it still feels like a drop. Top of the Dragster and King Nikaz's drops don't really feel like drops just because of that twisting motion, so that's why I really did like this drop. I also am a big fan of those huge bank turns after the ride. To me, Top of the Dragster and King Nikaz still feel very incomplete. Every time you get off one, you're like, wow, that was awesome, but still, it's like, what happened to the rest of it? This one has the rest of it. Still, it's not some super long experience, but I feel like the ride is more complete with those. It's just two simple bank turns. It's not really too much anything complicated. But I really do think that that is part of what sold the ride for me. I really don't have any complaints with this roller coaster. I mean, in the end, it's a fantastic adrenaline rush. And when I think about this roller coaster in comparison to my top coasters I've ridden, this is probably top 25, top 30. If you saw my top 20 roller coasters I released, you saw that this did not make it. But this will definitely make like top 25 or 30. It's a really well done coaster and it's probably got my all time favorite launch on it. Yeah, you heard that right. Of all the launch coasters I've written, when I think about their specific launches, I want to say that this one is my favorite. It's fast, it's smooth, it's quick. The actual acceleration is done in a very short amount of time. So in the end, it's just going to leave you getting out of that thing saying, wow, I want to go ride Accelerator again. So for its final score, I'm going to give Accelerator a 9. If you're at Knott's Berry Farm, absolutely come ride Accelerator. I wouldn't say go to it first. You should probably do Ghost Rider first. But this is definitely one that you're going to want to ride a couple times. Especially when last time I went, because of the one train, the line does get kind of long. So if you're there when they're running one train, that is definitely something you want to take note of, that the line does get long. But those are my thoughts on Accelerator, so post your thoughts in the comment section below what you think of this ride. Are you as big of a fan of it as I am? Are you underwhelmed by it? Let me know below. And of course, stay tuned for more coaster reviews. I have plenty more coming here at Coaster Studios.